Well, from Penny, dreadful city of angels, please welcome actor, screenwriter, and director, Mr. Adam Rodriguez. Woo Thank you, man. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey. Adam, first off, buddy, we haven't talked in a little bit. Congratulations. You had uh, another baby, baby boy, Bridgemont Bernard Rodriguez. I'm really glad you kept the name Latino, by the way. Yeah, super Latino, bro. <laughs> super what's, Latino. The, what's the genesis of that name? With Rodriguez, I don't need to put a yeah. hat on a hat. <laughs> yeah, that's and, a dope uh, name. So we took the Mont from Montalvo and put it at the end of Bridge and made it Bridge Mont. Uh, you know, I thought it just added a little ring to it. And then it's Bernard is my, my mother's father's name. And so I wanted to, to put it on there. I love Adam. You have the same as me, two girls and a boy. What was it like when the king was born? Did you hold him up to the sun? So he was, we had him at home actually on the 16th, which was the day that the stay at home, you know, um, you know, was beginning to be enforced. And so it worked out well for us because we didn't have to deal with going to a hospital, which we were really fortunate to, to not have to deal with that. Was that always the plan to have them at home? Plan was always to have them at home. All three kids now have been born at home. Is that uh, right? With like a midwife? Yeah, or? yeah with midwives. And uh, we just, you know, it just felt like the right way to go for us. And, and, and that was our plan. And, uh, and so he decided to show up on that morning. And he, we actually had him in the bathtub. The other two were on the bed, but, but he was, he came, my wife wanted to get in the bathtub. And so he were in the bath. I got to deliver him, which was amazing. I mean, what an incredible experience. And um, so, you know, it's obviously, you know, all you guys know, I mean, it's like the most intense experience probably of your lives. And, and every time it happens, it's every bit as magical. And so, you know, this time I got to catch him and I, my wife delivers him and I catch him and I'm holding him. And then I'm just going to give her to him, uh, you know, in the tub and put him on her chest and, and I'm moving him around and the umbilical cord is there. And I just caught a glimpse of the family jewels. And I was like, <laughs> I think, let me double check. And he's like, yeah, I, and it's like, I think it's a boy. You, oh, you waited to find out. Yeah, we didn't know. Oh, we that's had great. Know. We waited too. All three of my kids, we wait. It's the best <laughs> feeling, isn't it? Love it. I don't like well, it's like such a great surprise because I don't really care. So it's like I just yeah, it's exactly. nice to be surprised, man. Oh, good we for you. We might be the only yeah. three that do that. Most people want to know. I, like, there's that one moment, know. right? Yeah. We're in the minority for sure, but it really is. Like, you don't get too many special surprises like that. Right on, man. Well, congratulations on the quarantine you, baby. Uh, it works out well. You get to be right there at home, obviously, uh, dur during this downtime. Yeah. How, how has it been for you uh, otherwise? Just been consumed with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you guys know, I mean, with the kids, the days have been literally like, they just fly by. You're, you're doing something nonstop. They, they want you to engage and you want to. Like, I finally have all the time in the world to be with the people I want to be with the most. And so I'm just trying to take full advantage of it while it, while it lasts. I have, I have a feeling I'm going to miss this time when it's over in a lot of ways. Well, let's talk about your new show, uh, Penny Dreadful City of Angels. Um, yeah. For those not familiar, I mean, it's... Uh, a big departure from from Criminal Minds and CSI Miami, yeah. right? And Magic How, Mike, right. don't leave out Magic. Oh, yeah, big Mike. departure from that. Yeah, this is unlike anything I've ever done. I mean, on on, on every level. I mean, the production, the the depth of the character, and the amount I get to contribute to the story itself is um, this is a whole new experience for me, and I really. I, I can't explain how much I enjoyed it, how much it meant to me, how hard I worked on it, and uh, and how good I feel about the end result. I feel, I, I've never felt better about people seeing my work before. <clears throat> I love that. And is it true you're doing stand-up as well? Is there one comedian out there that you would love to emulate? We love this side of you. That's oh, a trick. Man. It's, this actually, this, this, this happened a few years back. This is actually right before I joined the cast of Criminal Minds. I was, you know, I'm antsy. I want to do something creative. I've always been a, a fan of, of stand-up comedy and, and that art form. And I just, my brother-in-law is a guy named Chris Spencer, who's a, a well-known comic and a comedic writer. And he just kept telling me, you need to do this, man. I don't know why you don't do this. And so I finally worked up the courage and I said, I'm going to do it. And I... I took a class with a guy named David Arnold. And then after part of the class was you had to go up every week. You had to get out on town and, um, and get up in front of a crowd. And so, you know, two, three nights a week, I was going to open mics around LA. And I just really started to love 
the idea of, uh, of doing this. It, 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 like you get an idea in your head and that night you can get up on stage, share that idea, express it, see if it resonates with other people. Maybe it makes them laugh, maybe, and hopefully you make them think about something. And, you know, and hopefully you don't get booed off stage. But Were you, were you funny? Like, did you think, hey, you know what? I'm funny. I should be a stand-up. You know, <laughs> just thought it'd be something cool to do. <laughs> I, I I am I'm a fun I'm, I'm a funny guy. I'm a funny guy. Yeah. Mario, okay. remember when you opened for fluff? Mario went out for fluff. Yeah. He's like, I gotta tell some jokes. Yeah, that. Yeah. Proud. You know, it's a whole nother thing. You're as you know, you're naked up there. You feel very vulnerable. Oh, you know. Oh you my God, you yeah. are standing. You are completely butt naked in front yeah. of everybody, and you and the worst feeling is the bomb. <laughs> that's all right man we're gonna be looking for the netflix special soon then oh my god no no i haven't done it now so i haven't done it in years i did it like three years ago then i started doing criminal minds and you know to get good at that you've got to get out there every night or yeah, as often yeah. as, and you got to work the muscle it so, is but one day one day i vow okay. you will you will see you me do again. it all on the home birth in the back that's good and that baby we're ready for it adam Meanwhile, we're going to be catching Adam in Penny Dreadful City of Angels on Showtime Sundays at 10 p.m. Congratulations, man, on everything. Well, it's a special Congrats, Adam. great history of Los Angeles. And the topics of the show are so relevant to what's going on in the world today uh, politically that I, I really think people should pay attention to it. You know, um, really meaningful stuff. Right on, brother. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you, Cass. We'll see you. Bye, Adam. Goodbye. Okay,